Jail deaths from 1994 to 2009. Today is January the 1st, 2013. It is amazing how the South Georgia news media have not reported in recent years the number of jail deaths that have occurred in this facility for whatever reason. We know that we've had quite a few suicides, approximately 10 to 15, or maybe 20, we don't know. We're also told that on March the 8th, 2010, that an inmate was tased and died in medical. We have it on DVD, wherein a former inmate say he witnessed this death. We are going to continue in 2013 to try and get you to understand that something seriously serious is wrong here in Valdosta and Lyons County. All of the Air Force Base, many of the people that have died, I understand was military veterans. I remember mother called me up less than a year ago about her son who was out here and, and we were almost arrested. I'm not going to get into that. Let me stay focused on the jail deaths. Now, again, from 1994 to 2009, approximately 31 deaths. Sheriff Ashley Paul, the former sheriff, he was kind enough and professional enough to at least give us a listing of most of the jail deaths. But from the time Sheriff Ashley Park left office, we have yet to receive even a courteous reply in writing in terms of how many jail deaths have taken place. We in the civil, human, and women rights community have written to the Open Records Act in Atlanta, and still we cannot find out this top secret information here in Lyons County in terms of how many jail deaths, how many were suicide. It's strange, but in 2013, because I served my nation for over 20 years, I'm going to continue to seek on behalf of the citizens, the concerned citizens I may add, here in Valdosta and Lyons County, who care about somebody outside of themselves. And I want you to ask a question. Why is it that the Valdosta Daily Times, ABC, NBC, CBS, WALB, Fox, why is it that these historic, reliable news sources can publish all these people that are caught with drugs and committing crimes and yet can't tell us about mothers and fathers, sons and daughters that die while incarcerated, and we can't even report that to the general public? I believe citizens have a right to know, and we're going to keep it in your face, because when I was in the armed forces during the Vietnam era, we fought to protect foreigners' rights. We sure as heck should fight to protect the rights of American citizens here in Valdosta and Laos County, Georgia. What say you? And while you're at it, ask your religious community. Would not Jesus, would not Muhammad, would not the son of Amram and Yoshebel Moses be asking these cutting edge questions? And let me close by saying this. If these 31 jail deaths, allegedly, and these jail deaths from 2009 to present, if they had been reported for whatever reason, but if they had been reported, this video is like the other ones, wouldn't even be necessary. But because it is not being done, somebody must do 
what the founding fathers of this republic had on the agenda. There's no need of talking about freedom of the press, freedom of speech, your constitutional rights, while you sit back, placate, duplicate, and imitate the Jesus and the founding fathers and Dr. King on his birthday, playing game with him, but when it comes down to truth, you know where to be found. Yet you say you want to go to heaven. Personally, well, Galatians 6 and 7 says, God is not mocked, for whatsoever a man sow, that shall he also reap. That means if we can't stand up for our rights in this country, but can stand up for foreign nations, well, pretty soon we're going to lose a few rights that we have left. And then what you going to do? You're going to have sold your children in coming generations down the tube with no rights at all. And then, as, as they say, what you going to do then? Once again, it is what it is. But seems like the people at Moody Air Force Base and Wild Adventures Theme Park, Kindaloo Golf Course, Francis Lake, and other historic sites such as Valosa State University. We better get concerned about our republic. I'm totally afraid we're going to lose it. Bye-bye. We're gone.